Hi, I'm Mark Zingrass. I'm new to Python and I wanted to share with you some of the secrets that I've learned in the past couple days. One is the actual setting up of your virtual environments, choosing your interpreter, installing packages. All those things are kind of barriers to getting started with actually writing code. You'll find out soon enough with Python that configuration and setup is probably going to be harder than the actual code you write. So if you download PyCharm from the internet for free and install it, it, it'll probably install with Python 3. If not, you might have Python 2.6 or, or Python 3.6, I'm sorry, on there. So let's go to uh, File and New Project, and I'll show you how to start a new project. It, right away, it tells you where do you want to put this project. You want to put it in wherever directory you want, call it what you want. This is my newest project. And then you have a project interpreter, new virtual environment. This is the default, and this is how I usually have it set. So what I end up doing is I create the project, and uh, you can just open it up in a current window or a new window. It doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do that, and then let's create a uh, .py file and actually run something here. So right now, it's an empty project, so it's pretty blank here. So let's go to, you can either do Command N, or you can come over here to File New. And let's just do a new Python file right here. And then you're going to give it a name. New file, what kind, I want a Python file. Um, so let's go ahead and click on OK on that. So now you have a blank slate here, and you want to import packages, say, like NumPy, right? So import NumPy as NP. And you'll see that it gives you this error right away. And it's uh, saying no module named numpy here, and that's or numpy, you know, and that's kind of the hurdle that I started with. And I'm like, all right, that's how do I fix this? And you go Google whatnot. So what you do is you can do command comma, or you go to your PyCharm here and go to your preferences. And don't bother with too much. Just type in the search box and type in interpreter. Interp, just interp will do it. And you'll see right here on the very top it says Python 2.7 well first of all I want 3. Point, I think it's 3.6 yeah so I want to use 3.6 so you should have a drop down menu with multiple versions of Python if they're installed I want to use version 3.6 and then you'll see packages here that are available for use um, some of them aren't on, on there like and like NumPy so click on this little positive button down here and you'll see another list in here of lots of packages just type in NumPy and you'll see it here, give it a little description and just click on install package. That's going to install that package for this virtual environment. And that's key. It's not like it's installing it for every every single Python script that you write. It's for this particular project. And that's good because that way when you go to move this program from one point to another, uh, you can you can package it all up into one little uh, you know zip file, so to speak. And it'll work on everybody's computer because it'll have the proper dependencies and packages loaded, the exact ones. What if you know version uh, another version of NumPy comes out and it's not backwards compatible? Well, if you package it all together uh, like this in this virtual environment, you'll never have to worry about that. And as you can see, it says installing right here. And once it's done installing, uh, you'll see that I can actually use this. So it's pretty interesting. Um, you can install whatever you want. OpenCV is on there. Uh, all kinds of different packages to choose from. And then on the bottom right, it says installed successfully. So then you can close that out. You can click apply and OK. And now if I use NumPy, I can say NumPy dot whatever, um, NumPy dot pi. We'll just print that out. Print NumPy dot pi. And let's see. And you have different shortcuts you can use for this to get the program to actually run, like Command-Shift-Enter is a shortcut I created for running. And I want to click on New File here. And as you can see down here, it prints out the first uh, few digits of pi when I do Command-Shift-Enter. How do I do that? Let's, let's do Command-Comma again to go to our preferences and click on Key Map and then click on Run or Main Menu and you see where it says uh, Run. Let's see what kind of options we have here. So we have run and we have run down here. You can override these keys. So that's how you get the uh, keys to be uh, mapped. It's very useful, especially if you have other programming environments like uh, maybe uh, Visual Studio or maybe you have R installed or Jupyter Notebooks. You want to kind of keep your commands the same. And that's all I have to say about that. I hope you uh, got something out of this.